In our earlier videos, we showed how to cut and engrave leather. It's essential to remember that even when using the same kind of leather from the same suppliers, you will need to adjust the settings differently each time. So it's important to do tests to get the best results. Hello, this is Wassam. My name is An Li. You want to learn more about conducting tests, cuts and engravers? Check out our previous video. You will find the link in the video description. Now, let's dive into the topic of carbon deposits. These are residues formed after high temperature material processing resulting in a mercy appearance. Slide suit residue is typical when working with leather, but you rarely see white belts or bags with black bones in stores, don't you? So, how can you avoid suit when laser cutting white leather? Increase blowing power, boosting the blowing power during cutting reduces carbon deposits and makes them easier to remove. Try a higher cutting speed to minimize boot, even though you may need to make multiple passes. Honeycomb table placement. Place the leather face up on the honeycomb table to ensure that any shoes stays on the reverse sides, preserving the product's appearance. Use an iron honeycomb table and newer diamond magnets for convenient handling as they won't interfere with the nozzle doing operation. Now, let's discuss engraving on CO2 laser machine without worrying about carbon deposits. One of our customers who works with white leather shared some valuable tips and we are passing them on to you. Feel free to share your own tips in the comments. The primary goal when engraving white leather is to prevent burnt particles from sticking to the product. There are two effective methods. Install a pneumatic regulator on the machine to alter the direction of compressed air on the pneumatic system. This reduces airflow, resulting in cleaner engravings, long focus lengths. Another option applicable to both cutting and engraving is to use a long focus lens. This increases the distance between the nozzle and the material, naturally reducing airflow on the material in the surface. You can also try a technical we demonstrated in our video on cutting and engraving plywood link in the description. Cover the leather with masking type before engraving. Be sure to adjust the settings on products. Consider using these extended nozzles as on Watson 0503 or 6014 CO2 laser machine. These nozzles disperse airflow preventing carbon residue. Always use a film extractor when working with leather to adjust the unpleasant odor. While some machines come equipped with a smoke extraction system to tackle smoke and odor problems. How can you remove soot after cutting? Even when cutting with the front side facing, soot may be present. Cleaning small soot deposits is pretty easy and can be done with a brush, razor, sponge, soap water, and wet wipes. Avoid using paper towels as they tear easily and leave a dusting residue. Alcohol-based cleaners should also be avoided as they can dry out and damage the leather's quality. For larger production facilities, the most effective method is sandblasting. This means using pressure-raised air to blow abrasive glass balls onto the material, which gently removes the suit and leaves the product clean. Choose the method that suits your needs for removing carbon deposits. Thank you for watching our videos. Follow us on social media and share the link with your colleagues. This is Wassam. My name is Anli. See you in the next video.